part of my holy hour is an examination of conscience. And this week as I was examining my conscience, some thoughts came to me that I'd like to share with you this evening. But I imagine at the end of my life, when I go to meet God, that I will probably say something like this. You know, those things I did during my life or those things that I didn't do during my life. I never meant to hurt you. And he will look at me and he will say, I forgive you. But he will also say, I know you didn't mean to hurt me, but you did. And it's then when we begin to understand that we hurt with our sinfulness the person whom we should love most in the world. When we are called to be salt and light, it takes us a step beyond following rules or following works of mercy. It goes beyond doing what we're told to do. You know as well as I do, you know, when you're little, your parents might give you spankings as they did to me. I never deserved any of them, by the way, but, I, but the worst thing your parent could say to you is, I'm so disappointed. Oh, go ahead and spank me, you know, or ground me, or do whatever you want, but to say you're disappointed, or to say what you did really hurt me. Oh, that's the worst. Then we're more angry at ourselves than we are at anyone else. You see, we become salt and light when we no longer do things or don't do things out of a fear of going to hell. But we do things or don't do things out of a fear of hurting the one that we love. 